Are you going to be much longer? I've just checked. That bus to Rill is half past every hour. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be finished in time for half nine? What about the half ten? I get bored of this. Well, will you get a move on? Give us a chance. Oh, it speaks. I've just got my tape to finish. I'm doing a compilation quiz for tonight. Now I'll have a bit of 60s and 70s disco. That's if I'll let anyone else on the dance floor. I thought an hour's disco, and then... A bit controversial, this. I thought about a wet T-shirt competition. Oh, great. Put us down. You what? Me and Toya. Put us top at list. I'm not having you. Why not? And as for her, it's perverted. She's my daughter. We're all somebody's daughter. Aye, well, I might just check her in check on that one. Wet T-shirt. It's so 80s. Hiya. Hey, do you need an hand? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. We're off to real Meet today. Me. Get in the bus. Do you fancy it? I can't, I'm working. But it's bank holiday. Not for the likes of us, eh, Owen? The show must go on. Yeah. I'll make you a bacon butter. You've got ten minutes. I've got all this to finish yet. Make it fifteen. Fifteen? And it's going in the bin. Oh. Now, come on, Les. Think. What's up? You've never been sat there like that. Yeah. What if she comes down? Oh, she's managed to resist me so far. What is it you wanted? I thought I'd give you a lift to work. I just feel like chilling out today. Doing what? Just mooching. Mooching? Where do you do that, then? Rambling about. Look, I'll be in tomorrow. Does that suit you? Half eight on dot. All right, all right. I know when I'm not wanted. I didn't mean it like that. I don't know what I'm doing today. All right. No need to explain to me. I might pop it rolls about lunch time -ish. See you there, then. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, it's cold. If you'd have been here on time, it'd have been hot. I've been talking to Taffy Williams, haven't I? And he's agreed to my offer. He's given us the pitch and the van rent-free. Come again? Well, he liked me spot so much last night in the clubhouse. He's asked me to do it every night till we go home. You're joking. No, I'm not. What's up? Les, why did we come on holiday? To get away from it all. And? To be together. Me, you and Toya. Yeah? Well, we won't be. Cos you'll be up there behind your mic. Toya will be wherever and I I'll be sat there like Billy No mate. Look, there's no need to be jealous. It's like the song says, you are the wind beneath my wings. I'm not being flaming jealous. What then? We'd have been in the clubhouse any road. Together. As a family. Yeah, well, now we're getting paid for the privilege. Look, there's plenty of days we can go out on holiday. I mean, what's this trip to real if it's not a day out? If we ever get there. Look. There's nearly an hour to the next bus. So while we're waiting, let's go inside and play mummies and daddies. Come on. Where are you? Hello? Oh, you're never going in. Well, of course I am. Oh, it's going to be such a lovely day, though. Oh, well, people have to eat, even if it is a lovely day. Ring in, come on. That I was sick of. Audrey Roberts. And you, an employer. Yes, well, employers expect it on a day like today. Oh, to be honest, I want someone to play with. Well, you're forgetting I was a brownie, you know. I have to do my duty. Mm -hmm. Later, then. Let's go out for a night on the tiles. Oh, my love, give yourself a break, for heaven's sake. I can't remember the last time I saw you laugh. And you wonder why? <sighs> Yeah, we'll get all dressed up, have a few drinks, and then have a meal. Don't you think you deserve it? Eh? Well... Yes. Hey, you can contemplate life being a lady of leisure. That'll put a smile on your face. 
Because you can throw away that uniform, you know, once you've got Mike's settlement in the bank. Think about that. Don't look at me like that. Like what? She threw me out, honest. She's trying to get the kids to sleep. Yeah, that old chestnut. And I'm going to take them out later in the pram. Fresh air's still free, innit? Yeah, but for how long? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh. No, no. Uh, it's all right. I've done it. It's done. Right. Sorry. 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 Hey, he's not been trying to port you behind my back, has he? If anybody's grooming this lad for greatness, it's me, I say me. We were just chatting, Fred. A word he had hunted Miss Dasai, don't you? Correction, she came to me. Oh, oh, that's what you led her to believe. Let's have a couple of bags of nuts, Jack. Look, it's nice to be seen as being dynamic. Mac of cashews, let's push the boat out. Uh, but the truth is... The truth is we should have gone in work today. At least there we get paid for talk shop. Gary, um, tell me where to get off if you want. I don't ever like the sound of this. Well, I'm looking for somebody to do about an hour a day. You know, shifting, carrying, that sort of thing. How are you fixed? Well, that's Jack's job. It is. But I know he's not up to the job. And he knows he's not up to the job. But neither of us has got the heart to say anything. I mean, it'd only be temporary, you know, till he's back to his old self. But I'll make sure we don't put his nose out to joint. Jack's a mate. Yeah, and a good barman. Which is why I don't want him keeling over on me again. Just an hour a day, you say? Well, probably less. But I'll pay you for the full hour and obviously I'll fit it in around Judy's shifts. What do you think? All right. If it's all right with Jack. Leave it with me. Mm. Uh, someone's got a happy bunny. I've been stood up. Who by? My own parents. Oh. Well, it's a new one on me. And we're supposed to be meeting me at the bus stop. You know, we're having a bit of a day out. Except they didn't show. Felt like a right mug. Yeah, well, some would say we're a lucky escape. <laughs> All right, Kath. Oh, did I speak too soon? <laughs> Nowhere near as big as yours. <laughs> hey, Les, come on, get a Hey, hey good morning! You've been avoiding me. I've not. Have you changed your mind, then? Oh, changed my mind about what? About me. Owen, this is not a good idea, love. Don't call me love. Here she comes, Teresa. My lovely lady wife. Who'd have thought a robber's dog like me would have ended up with someone as beautiful as her? Look, I'd had a few drinks. I can't even remember half of what happened. Sorry I'm late, Taylor. Not only is she lovely today, is she's also a game thrower. Watch this. Oh! So, what you got for me? A bill? Most clients prefer to pay as we go. A lump sum at the end can cause quite the shock. Uh, they are the rates we agreed, Mike. I'm uh, not ripping you off. It's a check, all right? Yeah, no problem. I know where you live if it bounces. <laughs> so, have you found her? No. I'm pretty sure Julia Stone's not a real name. And I thought we had a lead at the hotel. Her bill was paid on a Mrs Bestman's credit card. Yeah? Yeah. Um, but they made a mistake on reception. Two women checking out at the same time they got the bill swapped over. <laughs> Mrs Bestman's bill was paid in cash. Mike, can I ask you something? Yep. What do you realistically expect me to achieve? <laughs> I thought that was obvious. Realistically? I want to know, Kelly. I want my ten grand back and I want my wife back. Why? Well, the way I see it is this. It hinges on Kelly, not Stone. She's signed off. Cheery bubbles. Every lead we've had has dried up. Kelly knows who she is, where she's from, 
and who her pals are. Yeah, but Kelly's keeping stum. Can you blame him? Yeah, well, uh, if he was uh, out on bail, maybe I could get to him. But while he's in custody... Oh, well, that's marvellous, isn't it? Bloody marvellous. Here, it's the last check you're getting off me. Right, I'm... What's wrong to... with this country? Why do I have to go to you in the first place? This is a police job. They should be leaning on him from a great height. <laughs> Mm. Good old Sam. Yeah, maybe we should bring her on holiday more often. Yeah, we could take a ski in this winter. Nah, I quite fancy the Caribbean. For a change. Yeah. Although, knowing our lot, we'll probably get a tidal wave and you know who will get himself washed up on the beach. Oh, and here's me thinking this afternoon was a Battersby free zone. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I turning into a Battersby bore? Well... Well, it's not just him, it's... It's Janice and Toya as well. No, it's not them. It's the likes of him. We get them in work all the time. All battered and boozed and still giving it loads. You know, I go to football matches with our David on the touchline and they're all getting steamed up about a game. A game of football. Jobs. Yeah, well... Sometimes it just feels like they're taking over the world. And I'm not being a snob here, Gail. It's just... I just wanted to bring the kids away and get them away from all that. Just relax. They've had a great time. And you can't wrap them up in cotton wool, you know? They've got to find out for themselves. No, I know. They're lucky. They've had good teachers. Yeah. We haven't done bad, have we? Bad! Flaming brilliant. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I mean, look who Sarah Lou's taking on as a role model. <laughs> Tell you about us, <laughs> <laughs> And was it a good film? Haven't a clue. Oh, don't tell me that you were canoodling on the back row. Oh, yeah, in my dreams. No, I couldn't hear a word with all that popcorn crunching and drinks slurping and girls going out to the toilet. Oh, dear, it sounds as if you need a drink. Uh, no, it's all right. It's Nita's round. <laughs> a mate of mine in personnel gave me a call. The offer's in the post. Really? Yeah, well done. Oh, thank oh, you. Congratu yeah. Congratulations. Judy, has uh, Gary mentioned... Oh, he has, yeah. So what do you think? Well, anything that gives an extra bob's all right by me. As long as it's all right with Jack. Well, I'll make sure it is. Cheers. Your <laughs> usual lady? Oh, if you would, Jack, but we're not stopping long. Ah! No, I don't want to bump into Mike looking oh, like this. Oh, well, this is exactly when he wants to bump into Mike. Remind him what he's missing. Make him doubles, Jack. Well do, girls. <gasps> How many times? It was a joke. Do you see me laughing? We watched it stop. It's all steamed over. My dad bought me this for my 18th. But You say so. Don't you start slagging off my dad. Ah, it'll fill up in a minute, Taff. Don't you fret. Any road, I suppose you want to see me running order. Oh, do I? A couple of lads were after a wet T-shirt competition, but I said no. Frankly, it's so 80s. Family entertainment, Mr. Battersby. That's what we want. Gotcha. Where the hell have you been? I'm shaking off my fan club, man. Get up there and dance. Make the place look busy. To this? Oh, get me mum up in jail. Look, if I wanted pants, people, I would have booked to. I'll put something more happening on. You get up there and strut your stuff, kid. Oh, come on, we'd best be off. We're late as it is. No, it's all right. It's one of them bar restaurants, you know, they serve till real late. Bar restaurants? Mm -hmm. So do you mean it's going to be full of all those 30-somethings with mobile phones? So long as they're 30-something men, darling, who cares? Well, I do. Oh, rubbish. But it's so undignified. Oh. oh, I know what you're saying, it's only a joke, but, well, I mean, if we are 20 years older than the rest of them... <sighs> Well, I'm having another. What's yours? A milk stout and a packet of pork scratchings. Oh, that's fine. You see, part of me's really excited, but the other, well, it's my father. I feel I'm letting him down. You feel that, or he's making you feel that? Well, both. Why? You're taking all the things he's taught you out into the big, wide world. He should be proud. It's all that the young can do for the old, to shock them and keep them up to date. <laughs> Spoken like a woman without children. Spoken like George Bernard Shaw, actually. I've been um, 
talking to Judy. I didn't realise just how strapped they were for cash. Well, they don't come cheap, kid, isn't especially not these days, do they? So I've been racking my brains to think what I could do, but, you know, Judy's a bit stymied with the shifts, what with having to babysit while Gary does his rounds. Ah, will be, will be. So I did think of something, but then I realised. What? Might be treading on your toes. How? Well, there's not a lot I can do with Gary. <laughs> I mean, he already does me windows, but, you know, he's not exactly bar material. So then I thought what I could do is play to his strengths and to yours. Get him in for about, you know, hour a day to do the donkey work, shifting barrels, that sort of thing, and uh, put you where you're at your best. Customer relations. Like I say, I want to help, you know, so what do you think? Just shifting and carrying, like? Oh, just that. I mean, I wouldn't have him anywhere near my pipes. <laughs> and obviously he'd be answerable to you, you know, your assistant type of thing. <laughs> Except we wouldn't call him that to his face. Oh, no, 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 no. So, what do you reckon? Aye. Aye, aye. I think it'd work, aye, aye. Let's do the lad a favour. You bloody idiot! Screwed me off to death. Sorry. I'm sorry, all right? Where are you going? Oh, go and play with someone your own age, will you? All right, so I'm just a soft kid now. And you happy with Les? Happy with your life? Is everything in the garden rosy? You don't know the first thing about my life. Well, you work your fingers to the bone and nobody notices. You crack jokes, I mean, they're funny jokes and nobody even laughs. And when you're with Les, what you think doesn't count. You're invisible. You've got some nerve. I just see that. I see it and it knocks me sick. Janice, you're funny and kind and generous. Your eyes go all crinkly when you laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're lovely. And you're half my age. So? So, look, Owen, I was into Blondie the first time round. Why can't you get it into your head? Last night was a mistake. So you remember it now, do you? Yeah, and I was flattered. But that's as far as it goes. That's as far as it can go. Janice, last night you admitted something to yourself. You deserve better. Oh, God. Oh, I told you we should have gone sooner. Rubbish, it's a free country. Come on. Hi, mate. Hi. Hi. This is the first night out I've had, the first one. Sweetheart, not my business anymore. What do you want to go and say that for? Oh, come on. Large scotch? Day I've had, make it a very large one. I'm just saying, back off a bit. Oh. Well, we've never lived in each other's pockets before. Why start now? But we've so much catching up to do. No, we haven't. Yes, we Think are. Think about it. You know more about me than my mother does. Better than me. Most lads my age don't even want to talk to the parents if they can help it. Me and you, we work together, we drink together, you're my landlord. But when all said and done, I'm your... Now you know, I want the world to know too, Elliot and son. No. What do you mean, no? In me head, my dad's my dad, that'll never change. You'll always be my Uncle Fred. But I'm closer to you than he ever was to him. Are you? Of course I am. I don't want to sound ungrateful, just truthful. Well, it's like they say. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Exactly. But... Elliot and son... Don't it sound... seductive? Jack. I'll see you. I'll see you, Jack. I'm ever so grateful. This job of Gary's. Well, you can hardly call it a job, love, can Yeah, you? well, call it what you like. It's extra money in our pockets, and that's all we care about. You could have been there to stop him. Most men I know would have been. Right, well, between me, you and the gatepost, yeah. he's, he's, he's doing me a favour, isn't he? Because I'm still not feeling right after that ticker thing, you know, so... I'm glad of the help, but that... 
between me and B. Right. Right. You've not seen me mum anywhere, have you? Um, and she and the ladies? No, I thought. And now, an old time favourite of mine from years gone by. Come on, I want to see you storm the floor for rocking all over the Everybody. Is he breathing? He's all right. He's going to be all right. Phone an ambulance. Where's his wife? <laughs> what are you doing? His heart stopped. We have to get it going. Where's Janice? I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> I've just worked it out. It's 16 years since I had an holiday romance. You're not jealous, are you? No, I told you. I could get that every week. It's not what I want. Janice! Janice! Are you there? What's up? What's happened? It's Les! He's been electrocuted! What? Yeah, OK. Um, how far has the ambulance got to come? About 15 miles. Okay. He could be dead! OK, Tyler, you're all right. I think I've got a faint pulse now. So just, just help me. Just help me push him over, please. That's it, that's a good guy. Just bend his legs down there. Wait! Wait! He's going to be all right. Just what keep happened? him on his side, Tyler, OK? What happened? He's had a shock. His heart stopped. Martin saved his life. Yes. Yes. Can you hear me? Where were 